would shorten my days. I said, oh my God, take me not away in the midst of my days. Thy years are throughout all generations. Of old hast thou laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment. As a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall have no end. The children of thy servants shall continue seed shall be established before thee. A portion of that, the beginning, reminded me of my dear mother, who just two years ago yesterday passed on into glory. But, oh, what an awful time it was for her, as I'm sure you can relate with the difficulties of this life and what, what you endure. My mom had it pretty rough. I was watching how I read scripture to her back in March of 2010. I read to her Ezekiel, and I had no idea at the time I was doing that that it, within a year and a half my mom would be passed on. Praise God I was able to finish the book of Ezekiel reading it to her. But you know, there's so many folks that have more difficulties than even my mom. And there's people who, who lose loved ones before their time. I have a friend of mine, Bob Jones, a girl I used to date. I may pass the video that I'm making on to for her to see and to hear this, this song, although she wouldn't, she wouldn't be able to hear it because she's deaf. She's always very intrigued by this girl. She's a very bright young lady who's a very marvelous artist. Um, and it uh, wasn't meant to be for the two of us, but she went on to marry a fellow who I knew well in the art department there at college who was since was um, uh, head over studio art at the university where I attended. But just this past week, after a year long time of suffering with brain cancer, the Lord mercifully took him home. I pray that my iPod battery will hold out through this. This song is going to be tough because I think about my mom when I sing this one too. But I'd like to uh, dedicate this to the friends, my friend there at college and, and her daughters and, and, and son that still remain. Oh, now, mysterious. 
to soothe thy sorrows and thy fears. Be still, my soul. Thy Jesus can pay. From his own fullness all he takes away. And then one other. Be still, my soul. Begin the song of praise on earth, believing to thy Lord on high. Acknowledge him in all thy words and ways. So shall he view thee with a well-pleased eye. Be still, my soul, the sun of life divine through passing clouds shall but more brightly shine. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. What a sacred promise that we have. God is with us at all times. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. We might feel that way, but I guarantee you, when you're feeling that way, it's because some person has probably let you down. And that person could even have been yourself. We fail God, but God knows our frame that we are of but dust. I love the verse in Scripture where the disciples were with Jesus on the mountaintop, where Jesus often took them to mountaintops and there was Elisha and Moses that appeared with God. Can you imagine? As much as the Jews revered Moses and Elisha, they talk about Elijah a lot. But here's Moses and Elijah. <coughs> but yet the promised Son of God was in the midst of those two. <coughs> Who cares about Elijah and Moses? Really? You have the Son of God, but they come to take him for granted a bit. And, and Peter, the one who had always blurred out things that he shouldn't have said, said, oh, it is good that we're here. He goes, let's build us three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. And then a dark cloud came over the top of them, and a voice that said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And man, when those guys hear the voice of God, as we would too, you fall down on the ground in fear. But then it says, 
when they opened their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as Jesus would often do, it would be, you know, like, peace be still. Or and he reached forth and took him by the hand, you know. It's just like when Peter began to sink in the, the waters, you know, to represent our troubles that we have in this earth, you know, we, we think we can get through it on our own. And boy, we start to sink. And Jesus reaches out and, and lifts you up. Those are great scriptures. I love those scriptures.